Oh, right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to really easily edit videos using Cyberlink Power Director. So, uh, the first thing you'll do is click right here from the, from the edit screen. This is click here. You can either import a whole folder, although I'm just going to import specific specific files because I, you know, I don't, want to, don't want to take too long. So, uh, let's quickly just get a few video clips. And if you want to like highlight, you can you could uh, hold down control to do individual ones, or if you want to do like a whole list, click a top one, then stop, hold shift, and I'll highlight a batch. But anyway, I'm just gonna uh, import say three clips. Right, I'm holding so I'm holding control and clicking to this to open, and that's gonna import them into the library. Right, so these are the, these are the three clips I've got in. So literally, all you've got to do is you just drag them onto the timeline at the start. Drag them in. And this last one. Right, for me, because I want it to kind of look kind of cool. Go uh, right here. This one here is the transition room. Click that. You've got like loads of transitions here, which you, there's a whole selection. You, if you wanted one, you just hold it, drag it into a gap. But I'm not going to do it that way. The even easier way. So I like to use fades. So you've got, you've got this one here. Apply a fading transition to all videos. Click it. I like the overlap transition. That's kind of like your standard one. And that will do it in between all of these clips. From there, all you got to do is click Produce. Uh, pick your format uh, for size wise. I usually go MPEG2. Um, if I'm going to go on YouTube, I'll just go DVD high quality. But uh, depending on the length of the video, sometimes I go sort of 720p HD. Then literally here, here you just pick where you want to save it. I'll leave that default. Um, I usually disable the preview because I don't need to see it. And then just click start and that's how you do it.